me, my problem is women. <coughs> hey, I have a problem with women. And the Bible says that even if you look at a woman lustfully, You've you have committed adultery. adultery. The, a brother has fallen. Yeah. How do you deal with it, pastor, yeah. if you are saying that we should not gossip it? I mean, if a brother or a sister sins against you, mm -hmm. The Bible does not say go and announce and announce it to others. Mm -hmm. It says go, go to, to them, them, confront them. Hello, hello everybody. We are excited to be here. Mm -hmm. We are excited to be here. Mm -hmm. Now, most of you are wondering what is this? Now, this is a new program podcast called The Shepherd and You. you. And you, you, and you. you, 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 you. Yeah, yeah. So, this is a way of us interacting and getting to know, um, you know, several things that involve our lives. Yeah. And I'm joined here today mm -hmm. by one of my sons, one of the great uh, men of God as well. Uh, and uh, and um, a person that I've shepherded for quite some time mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. and we are excited to start the shepherd and you. How are you feeling, Pastor Bonnie? This is one of the most and best moments of our times. Yeah, where you get to do a podcast. Yes, this has been an idea you've been having for some time. Yeah, so seeing it coming to life is seeing good things coming to life. Yeah, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Yes. And what what do you think? is is what what do you think we are expecting to see from this uh, podcast podcast you see this is a relaxed environment yeah. so it's more of the shepherd having a conversation with the sheep yeah but in a less formal way because yeah. people are used to the pulpit and the pew yeah but now this is something quite different yeah it's just a normal conversation yeah but in the this is more like what jesus was having with his, with his, his disciples, disciples. Yeah. and you know time has changed yeah in the in i think if jesus was living in these times he would have a podcast i'm sure yeah, <laughs> yeah. if he did someone on the mountain yeah, he'll be yeah, having yeah. a podcast he'll be, on youtube he'll be having a podcast because <laughs> yeah. Uh, people have become so busy, yeah. and uh, I don't know whether it's busy or lazy. Like people don't like going to church, yeah. uh, staying in the in that in the service, yeah. and so I think it's our way of reaching out to them yeah. by going to where they, yeah. they are, yeah. you know, because I mean the days of just being in the four walls. Are over, are over yeah. you know so we yes it's important for us to go to church to church mm -hmm. yeah. and fellowship but how about monday how yeah. about tuesday? tuesday how about wednesday mm -hmm. how about thursday friday and all those things and that's why i like what up more mm -hmm. my friend in uganda worship harvest worship harvest mm -hmm. shout out shout to out. you mm -hmm. what he 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 says that sunday, sunday is garage, garage. Church. and church starts on, on monday, monday. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Oh yeah, <laughs> wonderful. And so today yeah. we want to start this podcast by discussing something that I feel is very, very uh, crucial. Yeah. Uh, because the podcast is aimed at building you as a Christian. Yeah. We're gonna have marriage talks. We're gonna have business talks. Yeah. We're gonna have many, many, many talks yeah. with different guests yeah. coming in. Yeah. Uh, but we want to kick it off with a uh, subject yes what's the subject first church killers church killers hey, church Ish. killers wa kanisa <laughs> church killers church killers um you know i i don't don't shut us down yet yeah, yeah, yeah. because a lot of people don't understand how the church is dear to the heart of god yeah a lot of people think you know i mean a lot of slander has gone into the church yeah. for people to to think that the church is somebody's business mm -hmm. the pastor wants to enrich yeah himself. yeah get one car yeah get a house, get a house and yeah. it's somebody's business yeah. yet the church is at the very core of um, god's agenda god's agenda yeah. you know yeah. matthew 16 18 i think yeah where the Bible says that I will build my church and the gates, gates of, of hell shall not prevail. Yeah. 
and even i mean uh, i don't know you remember that scripture in isaiah chapter 2 i think from verse 1 2 there in the last days the mountain of the lord's house yeah the mountain of the lord's house shall, shall be, be on top, top of all, all the other, other mountains. mountains and so i feel that it's important for the christians of today you know yeah. especially even in our own even if you're not part of harvest family church yeah. a christian yeah if you're a christian yeah. the church must be something very dear to you yeah. Because yeah. the church is the bride of Christ, yeah. and the church is not the building. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you understand about the church. The church is body. us, yeah, you and me yeah. from the church. Yeah. The church is a body. Actually, today I read something very interesting. Yeah, uh, someone was saying that a house is built by hands, but a home is built by the heart. Yeah. So saying a church is not only a house. Yeah. It's also a home. Yes. So a church is the house of God. Yeah. But a home for Christians. Wow. That's why we. That's build, profound. Yeah. That's why we, we we join our hearts together. Yes. That's why when when, when people ask you where is your house, mm. they don't ask you who is who is your house. They yeah. ask you where is, is your, your house. house. Yeah. When it comes to home, they ask you who is at home. Oh, yeah. Who is at home? Because home has to do with heart knitting yeah that's what church is church is a home for christians yeah where our hearts are knitted together together with each other yes and it's the house of god yes so he's building yes his church his church yeah and that is why because church is a home yeah it requires relationships kabisa yeah very important <laughs> very important yeah it requires relationships yeah. So that means that you cannot be part of the church and you're not relating with other, other believers. That's true. And the amazing thing is that you find that in a home, mm-hmm. just like in a church, yeah. we have all types of people. Different age groups mm-hmm. in the house. Yes. You different can, uh, eating habits. <laughs> different eating habits. Yes. Different sleeping habits. habits different like my son. Habits. Yeah. When he sleeps, he... <laughs> He explodes the whole bed, man. <laughs> From one end to the yeah, other. Yeah, you don't want to sleep with him because I think he'll kick you out of the bed <laughs> in the night. <laughs> but you find that, say, my daughter, she will just sleep in one position, maybe yeah. just stand normally like everybody else. Yeah. So a lot of people don't don't realize the beauty of the church yeah. because the church is not a place to hurt one another mm-hmm. it's not a place to kill one another it's not a place to tear one another down a church is a safe place it should be a safe because place it's a home it's a home yeah. because we go home for, for safety. safety security security yeah. you know and uh, that is why when people grow up in abusive homes yeah you find they that don't like going home they don't like that's going true. home they find an alternative yes yeah, an true. alternative that's some true. men are actually in the bar yeah as an alternative right now yeah because they they are afraid of, of their homes. of their homes <laughs> either the, the either the responsibilities yes. or the 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 their wives yeah their spouses you know i know some men who they would go home and park their car facing their house yeah. and wait to see all the lights go off. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like they don't want to go into the house. <laughs> yeah. And and I feel like when we are talking about church killers, yeah. we are talking about people who make the church not a place that is home. Oh, yeah, yeah, not a safe place. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's demonic a demonic setup. Yeah that satan sets up in such a way that there are people in our congregations that they don't have god's heart yeah god's agenda yeah and uh, the kingdom agenda yeah. of of allowing the church to become an influence yeah and a place of safety yeah. and a home yeah for people yeah and so that is why we are here today to talk about church killers Things that, kill our churches. things that kill our churches so instead of the church increasing and encouraging more people to come it is actually decreasing yeah diminishing you know diminishing yeah. why yet we are supposed to be the hope of the world yeah. we are supposed to be the peace of the world yeah. we, are, we are supposed to be the soul yeah in the last days the, the, house, the house of, of the lord will increase. increase yeah yeah why is it that Not increasing increasing yeah. you know why are people finding happiness in other places. in other places yeah. 
and not finding happiness in the presence of God. Where they should actually Where find they should, happiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I feel like sometimes people just become so ingenuine. Yeah. People become so callous. Yeah. Obnoxious yeah. attitude. Yeah. You know, and so today, I think we should handle a few of the church killers. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, but we, we try and reduce the effects, effects of these killers. In the yeah, church. of these killers in the yeah. church. Because the heart of Jesus is the church. Yes. The heart of God is the church. Is the church. And in fact, for Jesus to establish the church, for God to the God the Father to establish the church, He had to sacrifice His Son. Son. Yeah, that's how precious the church yeah. is. Yeah. So when we start killing the church by our habits, our yeah. behaviors, yeah. we really injure the heart of God. Yes. We make God almost cry yeah when he sees what we are doing to his church yeah because not only are we the church we are also the bride of christ, christ yeah. so basically we are the spouse of, of christ. christ so yeah. imagine when you see your spouse being hurt yeah I, it's so painful it's so painful i mean you know me i used to be green i think i was green belt so i forget what i was yeah. but taekwondo. i was taekwondo ay, 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 ay. so if you touch my wife <laughs> You will see another. You will see the king chigi come to go. King eh, king eh, king eh. You know, <laughs> you know. One time, <laughs> there is a story of a Chinese Jesus. <laughs> I don't know whether I've told you about Chinese Jesus. Tell us again. Tell us again. <laughs> <laughs> when Chinese Jesus was crucified, mm-hmm. some <laughs> some guys came there and started laughing at at him. While he was on the cross. While he was on the cross. <laughs> <laughs> they were laughing at Chinese Jesus. <laughs> and he's hanging on the cross like this. And then he looked at them and he told them, <laughs> you, are, you are laughing at me. You are laughing at me. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> you are laughing at me. And they were laughing. Hey, yeah, yeah, boo, boo. You said you are Jesus. Hey, you are forever. He said you are laughing at me. So he came down yeah. from the, from the he cross. got angry. Yeah. He came down from the cross. Yeah. Hey, he jumped at those guys. <laughs> ta, 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 ta. Yeah. And then he went <laughs> back to the cross. <laughs> I feel like that is what Jesus feels sometimes when people are killing the ch- destroying the church. The church and destroying the church is not destroying the building. No. It's destroying other people. believers. Yeah. And so I want us to in a few minutes to discuss one one or two or three, which is one thing. Yeah. That the this church killer is one yeah. but it has different levels expressions yeah yeah and that is gossip mm-hmm. slander, slander and accusations, accusations. because a hey, believers know how to accuse one another okay. the levels at which we accuse one another we is are, is we are more top than the we are we are, yeah? we are we more are, than the dpp yeah we are more than the dpp yeah. <laughs> <laughs> director of, of public, public prosecution, prosecution. <laughs> We do a better job. We do a better <laughs> we job. We investigate. We investigate. <laughs> we prosecute. prosecute and we pass judgment. We pass judgment. One man. One man. A job hey. that is done by three entities. Yeah. It's done by one believer. Yeah. The investigating officer. Yes. The prosecuting officer. Yes. And the judge. So we are the DCI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We are the DCI. We are the DPP. We are the DPP and, and we are the, the, judiciary. the judiciary. Hey. Mercy. Mercy. May God have mercy on mercy. us. Mercy. So. I want us to discuss gossip. Yeah. I don't, I don't know whether you have ever encountered gossip and what you, it has made you feel before. I've had stories about myself. Yeah. And one that is my body being used somewhere else. <laughs> 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 but, uh, uh, is my body being used somewhere else and I didn't know. Like I like <coughs> slept in my house. Yeah. But you hear stories and you think, oh, Ni nani uyo? who is that me? Yeah. Or they're talking about someone else. Yeah. And you know one thing about gossip? Gossip leaves a bad taste to the person who's been, been gossiping. Yeah. But to the people gossiping, as you were teaching us the other day, yeah. there's a sweetness it has. Yeah. But now the sweetness is to the gossipers. Yeah. Not to the person being gossiped. gossiped yeah. So the person being gossiped is left with so much wounds. Mm. Because you just come to people and you, what the first thing that comes to your mind, what have they been saying about you? Yeah. So, somehow you feel dejected yeah. you feel weak you yeah. feel oppressed so yeah. gossip is not something that 
you should take lightly. Yeah. It's a very serious. It really tears down yeah. the person being gossip. Yeah. It has so much effect. Yeah. On the other person. Yeah. And and I think it's because we we don't really love. Yeah. You know we are not genuine people. Mm-hmm. We are hypocrites. Yeah. And that is why when you when you you are not tombs. yeah when we are not genuine, we don't love people for who they are r- uh, genuinely. Yeah. So you don't care yeah. what your tongue Once. does. So That's I want you to uh, read for us probably James chapter three, I think from verse is it fifteen? Oh, they are yeah, they about about the tongue. James chapter James three. Chapter, yeah. Which version do you prefer? You decide. Okay, let me use Where the... Where do you go to Unaulizaje? Unauliza mpaka ule unauliza the shepherd. <laughs> which version, version do you prefer? Oh, mercy. Lakini yeye tutakuosha after this. <laughs> after this if you want me watch to comment, but please. Yeah. Be nice to me. <laughs> After this, decide you can decide. Those are for wash, Munandika wash. Those who are for mercy, you write mercy. Uh-huh. <laughs> mercy should be more. The Bible says in James chapter three, mm. we put a small piece of metal in the mouth of a horse to yes. make it obey us. Yes. We can control the whole animal with it. Mm. And how about sheep? They are very big. They are driven by strong winds. Mm. But they are star. Steered by a very small rudder, mm. it makes them go where the captain wants it to go. Mm. In the same way, the tongue is a small part of a person's body, mm. but it talks big. Think about how small spark can set a big forest on fire. Mm. How a small, small spark, spark can set a big forest, forest on, on fire. fire. The tongue is also a fire. Can you imagine? Wow. The tongue is the most evil part of the body. Hey. hey. <laughs> the tongue is, is the, the most, most evil, evil part, part of, of the, the body. body. You can tongue It can set a whole farm. Actually, I think families have been set on fire by tongues. By tongues. Loose tongues. Loose tongues. You see that a brother is discussing a their sister. sister. Yeah with another uh, like, sibling or yes, something he yeah. says and the yeah. they, they said this they said that yeah. and it becomes the end of that family yeah. the end Completely. of that family i think people really take the tongue lightly but you can see that scripture brother the, james is saying something powerful right it's there. the most evil part of your of body. body it it is a fire it is a fire uh-huh. The tongue is also a fire. Yeah. It makes the whole body impure. What? Yeah, it makes the whole body impure. It sets a person's whole way of life on fire. It sets which version is <laughs> that? This, this is I N I R V. It sets the whole person's body on fire. life life on, on fire. fire. And the tongue itself is on fire by hell. What? It is put to hell. It is sent to hell. People have tamed all kinds of wild animals. Mm -hmm. Birds, reptiles, sea creatures, and they still tame them. But no one can tame the tongue. It is an evil thing that never rests. It is full of deadly poison. It is full of deadly poison. That's why we can stop there because it is already such a powerful scripture right there that the tongue is full of deadly poison yeah. and i believe that it's important for all of us to make a decision that you know what i'm a christian yeah. i'm a believer yeah. and i'm not gonna allow myself to become a source of fire yeah you know in a church yeah. in a in a family yeah. whatever i am yeah. i'm gonna use my tongue wisely yeah. and i'm gonna use my tongue to bless yes. not to know, light fires not to light fires strange fires not to turn to tear people down yeah, to turn a brother against not another not to turn a brother against another you know yeah. uh, just by our tongues just by our tongues the tongue is so dangerous and i pray that god will touch our tongues yeah. and make us a people that are conscious of the dangers of what we say yeah. so 
the number one church killer for me is actually the tongue. Wow. What people say. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What people are saying about others. Yeah. You know, and 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 you know, um, we are not saying that people don't have problems, Mm-mm. and we are not saying that people are not sinful, Mm-mm. and we are not saying that people, we are not saying that people should continue to sin. Mm-mm. You know, Mm-mm. we are just saying that there is a way that Christians should handle brothers and sisters who, who are fallen, in, who have fallen, yes. or who have made Issues mistakes, or even churches that have a problem or yes. have a mistake, yeah. and. Uh, so that we do not demolish the entire family yeah. of Christ yeah. by our tongue. champion on your own before you start living you are a champion before you start walking you are a champion that is why you are here that is why you are alive you started fighting long time ago and that is why you fought until you became I tell you that we are going we are going we will bring them in because others must receive salvation. Others have issues. Others need a shepherd. Others must hear this message that we are hearing. Others must go to heaven with us when we are going to heaven. Others must come into our church as we have a beautiful church. There are others. There are others. I say there are others. You know, so gossip, let me define for you gossip. gossip. And slander mm-hmm. and accusation. Mm-hmm. Gossip, gossip is a negative report about someone, someone else, a whether true report. or false, mm-hmm. whether true or false, that is shared negative information about someone that is being shared, whether true or false, in their absence where they cannot defend themselves wow. so if i come and start sharing about another brother with you negatively yeah uh of what he has done or what i've had and all that whether true or false whether true or false and yeah. he's not there i'm actually a gossip what yep i'm actually a gossip and so i can tell you that we have all gossiped I'm telling before. You. Even me, I've gossiped <laughs> Yeah, before. everybody's a gossip. Everybody has gossiped before. Yeah. But I have come to the realization of how bad this thing called it's gossip is. The body of to the body of Christ yeah. and to the church. Yeah. Then slander. Yeah. Another, the definition of slander is information given to damage the character of, of a person. Wow. In their absence or in their presence information given yeah to damage the character of, yeah, another. of another in their presence or in their absence in their actually absence. i've come to see that slander most of the time is a lie mm. is not truthful mm. gossip can be true yeah, or false or but false. a lot of slander it's actually framed up issue is a framed up issue you know uh the, you to know fit a certain narrative to, yeah. yeah to fit a narrative that will damage your character the reputation of that. yeah yeah you know it it is malicious it is to to dirtify the person i think that's why legally it's a very serious crime yeah where people go to jail because of slander, slander. Yeah. and it's actually a demonic nature satan is a slanderer yeah you know? In fact, he tried to slander the father. In yeah, 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 yeah. He's oh. tried to slander. He to, to, where a, a slanderer is always trying to show that that person is not who you think he yeah. is. So, because he's the, they're after your character, yeah. your name. Yeah. They want to make sure that your name is not as strong as it, as, it sh- as it should be. Or people should not respect you. As they should. As they should, because you are not, not what, what you, say you, you say you are. That's why when the serpent went to Eve. Yeah. She said, "Did God really say?" Yeah. 
So he was trying to discredit the character the and the God. person of God. God yeah. yeah. Like God does not want you to have knowledge. Yes. So he's withholding that. Yeah, from he's you. withholding from you. Wow. Yeah. Even in in churches, you see that people come to uh, associate pastors yeah. or somebody and say, ah, it looks like the pastor is the only one yeah. who's prospering. Yeah. It looks like uh, you guys. This thing is about pastor. This eh? thing is about just the pastor. Uh, you know. Yeah. But we are here today to tell, you know, the guys who are watching yeah. that you need to run away from slander and you need to run away from gossip. Yeah. It is so dangerous to be a gossiper. Yeah. It is a killer yeah. of relationships, yeah. a killer of brethren, yeah. a killer of churches. Yeah. You know, of organizations of organizations even companies even companies you even, can bring down a whole company. yeah a whole company or even bring down the effectiveness of that company yeah. and actually a lot of companies are full of gossip a lot of of, of ceos i wish I, I mean they would wish you would, they would hear this because yeah. they, a lot of them are full of uh, gossipers Around in their them. office it's mm. called office gossip office gossip Grapevine. Yeah, grapevine. Mm. And a lot of people who are called Christians are part of the grapevines grapevine in the office. In the offices. Yeah. And you need to come out of it. You are a killer of, of your organization. Yeah. You're killing the church. Yeah. You're killing other brethren. Yeah. I know that there are people who can never enter the door of a church because somebody said something said, said something yeah. out to them. Yeah. So Revelations chapter twelve verse ten Revelation. speaks about the accuser. The accuser. I'm reading from the, I think this must be the King James Version. It says, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation mm -hmm. and strength mm -hmm. and the kingdom of our God mm -hmm. and the power of his Christ. Mm -hmm. For the accuser mm -hmm. of our brethren mm -hmm. is cast down, mm -hmm. with which accused them before our God day, day and, and night. night. Can you imagine? What? Day and night. So gossipers and accusers do it continuously. Continuously. Just like their father. <laughs> Just like their father. <laughs> they do. By the way, there are ways of knowing people who are closer to the devil. People who have a deep relationship with, with the Satan. devil. People who are possessed by demons. And one of them, those, those are the three, three, three areas that you can see. A slanderer. That's the nature of Satan. Satan. An accuser. That's the nature, the nature of, of Satan. A gossiper is the nature of Satan. Satan. Yeah. That's what Satan does. Yeah. That, and, and because all these three involve lies. Yes. And the Bible says that father, father of, of, all lies. of all liars yes. is Satan. Satan. You know, I remember one time you told us mm. that if we want to know you are around, if we see your car parked like outside this building, yeah. we will know you are there. Yeah. So, same thing with Satan. You may not need to see he's there. Yeah. But if you see one of his cars parked somewhere, yeah. you know he's there. And one of his cars is gossip. Gossip. Slander. slander and accusations. And accusations. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. So once you see those cars, yeah. Start binding Satan. Yeah. You need to know. Yeah. Yeah. Once you feel that you, you your mouth cannot keep quiet. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. It's a, such a dangerous thing. Yeah. You know, I don't know whether I told you the story of three guys. I think they were pastors. Have I told you that story? I think. <laughs> I must have said that story <laughs> somewhere. These three pastors, they said, today we want to confess oh, our, yeah, yeah, yeah. our sins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we want to confess our sins <laughs> to each other mm -hmm. so that God can forgive, can forgive us. us. So we'll start with Pastor X. Mm -hmm. So Pastor X said, I just want to confess that my sin is... I still charge offerings. My goodness. I have a problem with money. Yeah. I still charge offerings. Yeah. And I need you guys to help me and pray with me. Yeah. Then they said, oh, brother, we are sorry. We are going to pray with you. We believe that God is going to deliver you yeah. from that spirit and of charge you free. And set you free. Then the next brother said, me, my problem is women. <laughs> it is going higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I have a problem with women. And the Bible says that even if you look at a woman lastfully, You've you have committed adultery. adultery. So this thing is eating me up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I can't hold myself when I see women, yeah. even in church, yeah. in the choir. Yeah, even if I see skirts hang yeah. on there, yeah. hanging like <laughs> <laughs> Even if I see skirts, hey, I have to investigate. brothers, please pray with me. And the last one, I wish they would have started with him, but he said, me, yeah. my problem uh, is that I can't keep quiet. Oh my goodness. Anything I hear, I must say. Even now, I'm waiting to come out of this place. <laughs> <laughs> to go and tell people what I have heard. Brother, I actually have a problem with money. Yeah. <laughs> if you see that pastor there, don't think that he's everything you think. He steals church offerings. If you see that brother there, you know, even the chance of these brothers to change is just stolen from them. So the Bible says that, that the accuser of brethren, who is Satan, he was cast down and you know the aim of this podcast is to help us to change yeah. our attitudes yeah. our hearts yeah. so that we don't become agents of satan yeah. in our churches yeah. and so i want us to quickly move and see okay the, a brother has fallen yeah a brother is in trouble yeah what how do you deal with it pastor yeah. if you're saying that we should not gossip it how do we deal with it as a christian yeah. worldly people they can go and gossip yeah, 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 they yeah, can yeah, tear yeah. the person down yeah. they can go to whatever.co.ke yes. they can they can publish it yeah. but we who are born christians. again christians followers, followers of, of jesus. jesus we are the body of christ it means that if a brother is in error or is in sin it means part of the body is sick yes you know yeah. and we don't go publishing and destroying the body destroying the body yes we we there is a scripture that teaches us how, how to, to handle be. and such a brother wow. so matthew chapter 18 and verse 15 matthew 18 yeah wow. and verse 15 and galatians chapter 6 verse 1 matthew 18 yeah and, and verse 15. 15 i want you to look to, to watch that 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 scripture mm -hmm. closely verse by verse I think there are like three verses yeah. there. Let's let's read verse 15. If your brother or sister sins against you, uh -huh. go to them. Tell them what they did wrong. Keep it between the two of you. Wow, I love that translation. It's really cutting Making down it, by one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if a brother or a sister sins against you, mm -hmm. the Bible does not say go and announce, and announce mm -hmm. it to others. Mm -hmm. It says go, go to, to them, them confront them yes. between the two with the two of you yes. confront the brother yes. confront the sister and yes. say you have sinned yes you have error yes you have gone done something wrong yes. Uh -huh. yes. then between he says the two of you yes keep yeah. it between the two of you yeah keep it between, between the, the two, two of you, you. Uh -huh. if they listen to you you have won them back if they listen to you you have won them back yes uh -huh. verse 16 but if they won't listen to you Mm -hmm. then take one or two others with you scripture says every matter must be proved by the words of two or three witnesses so if this brother so this is how you deal with it mm -hmm. you you don't go to ntv whatever uh, the, the broadcasters and broadcast the problem of the brother mm -hmm. you first of all go and confront the brother and say brother you have been this is something you're doing and it's wrong, wrong. Yes. because all our our character failings especially yeah, yeah. they don't just affect us they yeah. affect the entire church yeah. you know a body the, the whole body yeah. so it means that they're sinning against the you are not just sinning against god you're yeah. also sinning against the body and the other parts the other parts of yes. the body so the bible says you go to them mm -hmm. you who are who knows the problem mm -hmm. don't even try to say let me find uh, a go between, a, a go between, yes. or a better way of, uh, of dealing with yeah, it. Let me ask, brother, so and so, mm -hmm. for the advice on how to handle on how to handle this issue. This issue that is gossip, because the moment you share it with brother so and so, they have known something that they are now not supposed to. Yes. And remember the definition stage. of gossip. Yeah, was anything that you share, whether true or, or false. untrue. Yeah, yes, 
with without the past which is negative yes it has to be negative, negative. when it's positive it's, it's a good, good thing yes you share that information when the moment you share it in the name of i'm asking for advice to know how to handle the situation it means you have not read the scripture yes. because the scripture has already guided you yes you're supposed to go to that person level one level one yes. talk to the person yes alone yes then if he does not listen to you mm-hmm. take two yes. others yes. don't even tell them why you are going just yes. tell them i need to have a meeting with you yes. and brother so and so yes. then you in the presence of that brother mm-hmm. explain what the problem is, is. wow you understand wow. and then you try to help that brother wow. i like that and these two other guys yeah. are not supposed to go and begin to say hey where 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 they must be mature believers who can handle whatever form of information because i want to tell us today yes, yeah. that there is no problem that we can solve wow we is nothing never, we can solve there is nothing we can solve wow there is no problem that is too big to scare us yeah whatever has is has been yeah so adok is come to committed fornication adultery or whatever he is not the first one yeah and there is a solution for everything yeah. somebody said that engineering problem has, has an engineering solution. solution character problem has a scripture so- solution <laughs> wow i like that you understand? character problem yeah, has, has a scripture solution. solution god solution wow you know <clears throat> and so i would like us to um you know decide and and think of the scriptures already elaborated yeah that if he does not listen take the next the two who are mature yes then the third stage verse 17 <clears throat> yeah but if but what if they also refuse to listen to the witnesses mm-hmm. then tell it to the church elders and what if they refuse to even listen to the church then don't treat them as a brother or a sister treat them as you would treat an ungodly person or a tax collector yeah wow that is powerful so it says that if he has not listened to the two witnesses yes you know yeah take the guy to the church elders to the church elders yes. if he does now not listen to the church elders yes. consider him a non believer an infidel an infidel yeah. so we are you is not part of the of the Anymore. body of Christ yeah. yeah yeah he is considered like every other person yeah. out there who doesn't know Jesus Christ then that answers why yeah. in the church of Corinth there's a guy Paul expelled from the church yeah because he said you had been warned by brother so and so yeah and then it was reported to me mm. I spoke to you but now I pass judgment to you yeah in my absence yeah. that you should be kicked out of, of the church. church yeah that's ah, that's it i see so a lot of gossipers they destroy the church badly wow and i want you to know today that don't let all of us who are watching and listening let us not be participators of gossip yeah you know and um, and let us stay away from gossip yeah. another way that another one is galatians chapter 6 verse 1 how to deal with brothers who have on a street Galatians 6, 6 1. 1 yeah brothers and sisters what if someone is caught in a sin mm. then you who live by the spirit should correct that person do it in a gentle way but be careful you could be tempted to so that scripture is so powerful wow. if a brother falls into sin restore that brother in a gentle, gentle way you that claim you live in the spirit yeah you that you say <laughs> wow. slaga shida. Yes. Nata, even if ukona shida and you have seen a brother who has fallen to sin yeah maybe shidako is a different, different shida, one. Yes. and this person has fallen into sin yeah. on another side yeah you need to gently. restore that person gently gently wow. gently wow. Be, that gentility is what lacks and that is what kills churches yeah because we become so judgmental yeah so that finger wrong. pointing yes. by the way one of the words of accusation mm. because i mean i believe we are all talking about you know the accusation is also is also pointing of fingers wow you know pointing and, of yeah there is a scripture you know i would like let me see whether i can find it pointing of fingers yeah to accuse what an accusation is a chain is a charge or allegation made against someone wow. okay yeah. it puts blame mm-hmm. and points fingers 
put at a person. blame and point fingers that is accusation yeah wow. you put you put blame and point fingers yes. at a person an accusation is a statement saying that you think someone is guilty of doing something wrong especially of committing a crime wow you know yeah. so these statements which are directed at a person mm -hmm. constantly minister a withering weakening guilt withering weakening, weakening guilt. guilt only very strong hearted people can live with persistent accusations wow for a long time wow even though accusations come out of human mouths wow. they are anointed by the accuser of the brethren himself mm -hmm. satan is the <coughs> accuser in the midst of, of the, the brethren. brethren so the when accuser in, in the midst of, of the, the brethren. brethren yeah because when an accusation is out of the church mm. it doesn't have so much power effect yeah yeah you know like today uh or recently i saw i, don't, I can't remember this or whatever but i saw a video in nongata rongai where our church is like our the town and the environment there was a church there was a, I don't know whether it's a church existing or not, but there was cannabis. Oh yeah, I saw that. I yeah, saw yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that, that was not there. Yeah. I think worth over six million. million. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. And uh, when the police or whoever was giving the the interview with the with the media, he said in Swahili that he he hears that this was a church. Yeah where the cannabis was, was stored yeah i mean that thing was trending just because a church there was Nations. cannabis yes. at a church the mom even some people were sending it to me some of my friends who know i'm a pastor they were sending that video to me it's like you see see what you guys are yeah. you church church people and this is a christian not yeah. a muslim yeah. not muslims who are sending that to peter. me is john peter <laughs> samuel joshua john uh, yeah 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 they're the ones who are sending those whatever because it's like a joy comes upon people to show these guys wow. are not as perfect as they wow. think so we are not even sure whether it is a church or, or it used it to, to be, be a church, a church. Yes. you understand yes, yes. or it is used as a church as on a, a weekday yes. and a storage for other things on, on a, a weekend on a, on on a, no a weekend is used as a church then on the weekdays it's used, used for the, other businesses yeah, because yeah. there are there are places like that yeah. you know yeah. even because even the, the 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 police was saying that even they had they were doing they were slaughtering codes to yeah, eat to and celebrate. to celebrate yeah. but we don't know what they were celebrating mm -hmm. we don't know whether it is during the day is mm -hmm. a is a is a is a is a is a hotel mm -hmm. where people Go to uh, do, do machoma mm -hmm. and uh, whatever because you can actually i know churches even in in america that use bars on sundays you know so they can't come and break in and say this church i mean of course they don't even remove all the stock yeah. they just cover it with either kitamba black whatever and then they do their service and they do their service so i want to really um uh, uh talk to people that let us change the character of the church by stopping this evil called Pastor Boni, I think we have to stop it there for now. I think this stuff is deep. This is, this is deep stuff. Yeah. This is Hollywood content. <laughs> <laughs> Netflix material. <laughs> anyway, it's good. Uh, we want to stop it there for now. Um, about this evil that has entered and has been there. But we are going to address it so that the Church of Jesus Christ can grow yeah. and can do well. Yeah. And so, um, I know Kenyans, sometimes they don't like uh, the truth. Yeah. Uh, but this is what is destroying churches. Yeah. And um, we are going to stop it here. We'll continue next week, same time. And I'm sure that you are going to tune in and you're going to subscribe, like, like and, and comment and share. Yes. <laughs> Ubze. Anyway, this is our two. The butoto yangu nani. If this is and your makondozo, uku. Zuku. 
<laughs> but let us pray for these guys. A, <laughs> uh, I would like to ask Pastor Boni to pray. I know, um, you know, for for these guys who are saying that you know what this thing is speaking to me. You know, and I've realized I have this issue. Issue. Why don't you just take a minute and pray for them? Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Yes. we want to thank you for the privilege you've given us to speak your word. Mm. The Bible says that the word of God is the seed mm. and the preacher is the sower. Mm. So Lord, we have sowed seeds against gossip, against slander, mm -hmm. and against accusation. Yes, Lord. Now Lord, we ask that these seeds will grow into our listeners mm. and there will be agents that speak against slander, mm. speak against gossip, and mm. speak against accusation. Mm. Anybody suffering, and anybody struggling with these issues, mm. Father, I ask that you deliver them. Yes, these Lord. are sins of a devil. In so Jesus set them name. free in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name. Just like you cast down the accuser in heaven, mm. cast out the accuser from their lives. Yes, Lord. Cast out gossip from their lives. Yes, Lord. Cast out slander in their lives. Yes, Lord. Let us have strong and wonderful churches. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory. See you next time for next the next episode. episode. Love you. Bye-bye. Adios, muchachos.